two, one. Go! Yes, 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 yes. Go, 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 go. Yes, woohoo! All of that, they figured out from that. Just one picture. And they took it to level 97. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five. Ah! Level 10. Yes, yes. That's a good. Wait, 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 wait. Hulk! Smash! There you go. <laughs> go! Fifth grade is trying to beat kindergarten, which is harder yes, than it sounds. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Take that, kindergarten. <laughs> Third time's a charm. Yes, yes, looking good. Go! So worth the wait. <laughs> These are the materials you have to work with today on your Rube Goldberg machine. We have the little ping pong balls that go with the catch cups here. And then we have the popsicle sticks that go with the dominoes to set up the track and trigger. We have Hot Wheels tracks. Um, but we also have rulers to use as tracks. We have various plastic dominoes and foam dominoes and wooden dominoes. And you'll notice they all go nice and neat back in the same container when it's time for us to clean up. On your table, you will see there's already the tower twister with the kickstand in the top and the anchor yanker. This bucket here is to collect the materials from this table to bring over to your own table so they don't fall on the floor. Just like last year with our tower twister, you have the kickstand here that you can keep in the top if you're not using it. And here's the weight. You wanna wrap it around the top of the tower here. And then you wanna stand this up pretty much straight up and down. You find a way to tap the bottom and it goes around. Upgrade to our kickstand with help from Xander and Matthews. Bottle caps. So now, I'm a little teapot, short and stop. Tip me up and pour me out. Yeah. Yay! So extend that right there. And then on the other end, is I'm going to connect this clothespin very carefully. Yeah. And what do you think is going to happen when the battery anchor falls off the table? One. Yoink! Woohoo! Obviously, this is going to fall on the floor, so please pick it up right away so we don't accidentally step on it. If I put it near the edge, the ping pong ball is still not strong enough to knock it over. But if I put it on the edge, that same ping pong ball. Yoink! And then, again, I want my hex nut to go that way, so I'm gonna wind it up the other way. Anchor yanker. Yoink! Boom! Yes! So now I can just put a piece of tape right there, and hopefully it'll hit that spot every time. I changed the color, so if they do get tangled up, you can uh, more easily separate them. Batteries are not supposed to be dropped. So I wonder if that's why we're having some chemical problems with the batteries hitting the ground too hard. So we switched from the battery to a domino. Or please do not put the hex nut in the tube. However, when you put the kickstand in there, you can set the hex nut in the top. That's nice and neat. Time to clean up. Please leave your empty black bucket, tower twister, and your anchor ganker on your table. The rest of the items go back neatly where you found them. The slapper! Yoink! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> this came from uh, Joseph's Machines. Absolutely love it. Get out of the way. Smack! Knock the anchor off. Yoink! <laughs> uh, I tried standing up the domino and it just didn't want to balance very well. But at kind of an angle, that helps to hold it in place. 
And now all you need are a couple over here to push the domino out of the way. So remember to give your roller more energy. You just lift it up even just a little bit. And now it's got more energy. And it goes away. Next week, we'll get into the fancier levels of Rube Goldberg, but for today, we're just gonna do a simple version, which is to score a goal. We now have bigger catch cups. Make it a cool trick. You're gonna use a popsicle stick, and you're gonna put another domino about the same size next to it, and then you're gonna put a popsicle stick there, and the ball goes here, and then you just Roll something else going that way, or you could set up dominoes going that way. Score a goal. You don't need to put the popsicle stick all the way across. That's gonna make it harder to knock off. So you'll see I barely have it on the track and I barely have it on the domino. So that makes it really easy to knock out of the way. One, two, three, this one's one of my favorites. We call it the seesaw. Put the ball on this side. Huh. How do we do that? Well, you start with one of these big Jenga pieces here, and you don't want it to be balanced. You want this side with the catch cup to be heavier, so it falls down. Well, it's the ball down. But on this side, we put a weight, another Jenga piece, and you want to put it right on the edge where it's just about to fall off, and you have to adjust it a little bit to get in the right spot. Now, I'm just going to set it right here, and it knocks that one off, and then switch. <laughs>